This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Jackson, how you doing today? Congratulations on, on your decision. You got to be excited today. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm doing good. How about y'all? Doing well. Doing really well. Yeah, uh, I'm doing good. So um, I want to I want to know um, why this signing day instead of in December? Because that's when so many uh, football players, you know, make the decision, decide to go to school early. Uh, so so why why today instead of December? Well, really, uh, I hadn't made uh, my full decision yet, and allowing a couple extra months to talk it over with my parents and different things really solidified my decision to go to Missouri. That's pretty cool. Your pops, have you have you been able to pin your, your pops yet? Have y'all wrestled a little bit? I know uh, <laughs> Adam, Adam was a stud, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. growing up with a dad like him, it's always been uh, somebody to look up to. But, yeah, I feel like. I'm up there now, but he probably will say so. I like it. I like it. Hey, man, how how, how was your senior year? How, how did it all work out this year? And and did you play multiple positions this year? And what position are you looking at at, at playing at the next level? Well, um, this year in high school, I played quarterback for Alma. But uh, going to Mizzou, I'm going as a linebacker. So it'll be new to adjust for a little bit. But I feel like, I mean, I have linebacker in my blood, so it shouldn't be anything crazy for me is that is that where you knew you were going to play or did you think that potential because when you see the word athlete you're like well this is somebody that can play maybe just about anywhere on the field except maybe right up there on the line of scrimmage were there other positions you considered did the coaching staff have to you know try to convince you one way or the other well um well, i went to their summer camp and they offered me this as a linebacker so i just felt like that was the best place that they thought for me to go and so that's what i've been working towards when it comes to, I mean, there's a couple kids in the state of Arkansas. Did, did the University of Arkansas re- recruit you at all? No, they didn't. They didn't do, give me hardly anything. Yeah, they're they're funny up there these days uh, with the in-state kids. Well, uh, you're a legacy. We've got to get into this a moment. You're, you're well, a legacy, Jackson. What I mean, that had to have been, um, how did that make you feel if, if you didn't get contacted by Arkansas? Well, I've been, I mean, obviously I've been a Razorback friend since I was little, having my uncle, dad, and grandpa all play there. But, I mean, Coach Trinkwitz is an awesome coach up there, and they treated me like I was the one of the best players in the state. So I felt like that was the best place for me to go out right there. I didn't really put much thought into what Arkansas had to say. Yeah, the relationship, that's very important uh, on, on getting relationships with the coaches and, and, and going on. Um, well, yeah, that's, that's – um... When when do you have to report up there? Uh, May thirtieth is my report date. And I mean, did, could you imagine what, giving up your, you know, this last semester of of high school? I, I know so many high school football players now go to campus in January, and, mm-hmm. and I I didn't have the chance to do that as a seventeen year old, but I had so much fun that last semester. Um, how, how do you how do you view these next few months and and the end of high school for you before you? report to Columbia yeah I feel like uh certainly enjoying your last semester of high school is big and going up there May 30th it'll give me time to really get acclimated to everything and go through the workouts but I mean obviously if I was to go early and go through spring ball and everything that would help but I feel like just getting acclimated in May is enough for me how much uh, do you talk with any of the other Arkansas kids? I guess you got Crutchfield and Pine Bluff. Uh, I, I don't know. I can't think of the other one. Slips my my mind right now. But how much do you are you in contact Austin Dendy with with any of these kids and and excited about the opportunity to play with some of them? Oh yeah, yeah. I've been uh, we talk on Twitter and different things like that, and I'm friends with different kids from around the state that are going to different places, and they all they're all really excited about Missouri and think it's a great place. What what about Missouri? Do you uh, you know? Do you think uh, is attractive uh, for a football player right now? They're putting a lot of money into that. One ten games last I year. I mean, you got yeah. you got the success of this last oh, yeah. year. Well, I really just uh, the first time I was up there, I was just amazed about how the people and how nice they were and how they treat everybody with respect. And I just like the facilities they had up there, and all the coaches were really great to me at the camps and everything I've went to up there. And so, really, I just fell in love with the place. 
It just felt right. That's right. That's right. Hey, uh, Jackson, we're, 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 it's nine days to baseball season. I don't know. Are you a, were you a multi-sport athlete at, at Alma? I was, but um, now it's my senior year. I just focused on football. R- right on. Right what on. else did you play? I played baseball and basketball throughout high school off and on, but now I just do mainly football. When did you realize football was going to be your future? Um, around the end of my freshman year I, is when I really started putting everything towards being a football player and playing Division One football. It's Super Bowl week. Uh, kind of give me your thoughts on this Kansas City Chiefs San Francisco 49ers game. Who do you uh, – Who do you? I love watching some Dre Greenlaw. I mean, I know you're, you're oh, saying yeah. you're going to be a linebacker. Who Who are some guys that you, you like watching and studying and to film, and then who do you think in this, in this Super Bowl matchup who wins this game? I, I like a lot of the – like Patrick Mahomes and Kelsey, all those guys are great players. And like you said, Dre Greenlaw coming from Fateville. But really, I just want I want the 49ers in this game, to be honest with you. I like it. I like it. Do you care how often uh, Taylor Swift is shown? I do not want her shown at all. Do you? Uh, all right. So he's got an opinion on this. <laughs> not a Tay-Tay guy. I like it. Could you, if you had Christian McCaffrey uh, in the backfield and he's running a power at you, could you make the tackle? Um, I, I feel like I could, but, you know, never know. He's in the. Played millions of dollars, so. Oh, you know. hey, no, I like it. <laughs> Might be nice to have a defensive lineman around his ankles. That's right. That That's right. Yeah. Hey, um, I, I, I want to hit on, on something that you'd mentioned a moment ago here, Jackson. You know, growing up in Arkansas, and you've got the connection to the football program and everything. I mean, you you even said, you know, you've been a fan. Um, does that end? I mean, you're, you're, going, you're going to the rival. You're going to a team that Arkansas mm-hmm. plays every single year. You know, some of us are able to compartmentalize life in that way. Do you cease, you know, being a Razorback fan, playing for another team in the same league that, you know, there's 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 the stuff that goes over the border here, man? Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously my whole family has been Razorback fans, but now since this has kind of happened, I, th- I feel like we've all made a transition pretty well. I mean, even my dad and who played for the Hogs is now – I mean, when Mizzou played Arkansas this last, I uh, can't remember when it was, but he was chewing for Mizzou. I mean, so really it hasn't been that hard for us to transition. Well, it's been such a bad product on, on the field last year. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's clearly who, who's the better team right now is, is Missouri. And, and, and it's, it's uh, I, man, I wish you nothing but, but success. And, and uh, I, I, I'm very fond of, of your of your pops. And uh, man, that's that's cool. And I, I with this transfer portal, so that's I guess that's where Phil was going. There's there's probably no chance in three years that like Arkansas comes back in the portal, and you're like, yeah, I want to be a Razorback. It's, it's like, oh no, you know, yeah. you know. Well, that's not that's not really the direction I meant to go at. But I oh, mean, that's, yeah. how, that's how a lot yeah. of people yeah. take it just yeah. because of the freedom you have. Um, yeah. You we, could you imagine? Because we we got into this with Chuck Barrett a few a, about an hour ago. You know, it feels like we're in we're on a path to where student athletes are employees of the university and and mm-hmm. could get paid by the university is this ever something that comes into your mind uh yeah i mean with everybody talking about nil and different things it certainly crossed my mind but that really doesn't uh, concern me much i'm just concerned about getting up there and playing football and doing the best i can for the university Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.